Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson comes from um, Sandy Hunter, and it is Cruffle. And I drew it here in my, uh, in my book, Tangle Relax and Ponder. And today's, I have two little statements for today because we're going to draw in this book and we're going to draw in the calendar book. So today's is to thine own self be true and I'm going to show you how I did my little true. The E isn't done yet. And then we're also going to draw in this one. And these books do not have little sayings in them. I put these in here and I will do some. I, I love motivational sayings. So I, that just keeps me motivated. And this one is, every moment is a fresh beginning. And so this is what I did the last three days. You can get excited about the future. The past won't care. And um, I just kind of did a little color. And this is Mooka. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not sure what this one's called. It's Flux. And um, we did this one, uh, Flu, my kind of on our last video. So we're going to work in here and we're going to work in here. So let's get started. So with these little letters, I'm just going to show you what I did. I used, um, I used a Prismacolor pencils and I just put some color in here. And so I'm just going to start with a little pink. And I am going to blend them with um, odorless paint thinner. So I'll put a little blue. And I'm not really particular about how We'll put a little bit more pink right down in here. Okay, and now I'm going to take my odorless paint thinner and I put it in a little pot with a sponge. It just keeps it from, you know, I can carry it with me and it doesn't um, spill. So I'm just moistening my shading stump and then I'm just going to blend these two colors. And I really like how it it just softens that um, wax in the pigment and the pigment, and it blends those two colors together, so I can get just kind of a variegated look. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry just a little bit before I put my pen to it because it will make a little bit of difference in how I do. So we're going to just do a few of Sandy Hunter's cruffles. And she has 150 different designs. Um, I will put a link to uh, tanglebucket.blogspot.com and you can, that will take you directly to the Cruffles. And she did this in 2017, but I just think they're just fun. And uh, so we just start with a circle, and if you know me, I love circles. Of course, you know, I have my fingernails done with little circles. And then we do this S shape in there. Oh, and I need to come a little closer. You guys can't really see. So here we are a little closer. And we put that S shape. And then for the original cruffle, it's just Aurid inside of there as many auras as you can get to fit inside your circle and there we have it you can see that some of these uh, have different designs in them they're taken from her um, her 150 now that one's going to be a little overlap but that's okay we can 
Okay, and now I'm going to just do another one where she came up and just did a spiral. I think that's another one of my favorites is um, spirals. I love them. We'll put a little weight on there. And you can see we can just fill this in with looking at all her different um, designs on her her uh, blog spot in her blog we'll do another one and we'll divide it up with our S shape and then we can Just put a little, some little um, petals on it. Coming down both sides, that's a fun one. <clears throat> and then I, I really like to come in here and do a little... Uh, <clears throat> Oh my goodness, you'd think I could remember all the tangle names. A little flux. I think that that is just has fun. And you could do really small ones. Okay, we're going to come back to our little... Um, E because that's draw, dried enough and now we're just going to put a filler in here and so I'm just going to kind of go with what I was and I'm just going to fill this with orbs And you can see adding the color before is really kind of, um, I don't know, it's kind of fun to, to have that color background to tangle on. And I'm just going to do diminishing circles right up to the end. Now I have it filled with circles. I'm going to come in with a, a jelly roll and I'm just going to give it some little white. My jelly roll doesn't want to really lay down very well. So we'll see if my white Prismacolor pencil will lay down any better. Nope, that one won't lay down any better. We're going to have to wait for it to dry just a little bit so it will be a little brighter. But we can also do a little dark in here on a few of them, just to give it a little bit more um, texture and interest. I like the background. But there we have it. Now we can just play with... Um, the cruffle. I am going to now move over to my Tangle a Day book. 
better back out just a little bit and I'm going to select a couple of her that are just a little different and I'm going to fill this in with gruffle. I'm going to do the ordinary gruffle on this side and leave this other side blank. We'll come back and do a little shading. And I'm just going to draw a bunch of circles, different sizes. And then I can come in and fill in with different designs of cruffle. And I want it to kind of rotate a little bit. So I'm going to rotate my um, book. So when I put this S shape in, it goes in different directions. So it's not always um, going in the same same direction. Because if I, I my hand will feel more comfortable in one way. And if I rotate my book, then I can get that little S shape in there going different directions and not always the same. So there I have a few. I'll probably um, come back in and add, I know I will add more. I'm just going to add some little fescue. Three little fescues, a good one. Um, A little diamond shape and then fill in this side with our regular cruffle. I'm really attached to regular cruffle. I think it's um, her original design is just gorgeous. And some of those spaces I don't have enough room to do more aura so I'm just going to fill that in and then one of the things we can do here is to fill in the background between And that really makes those pop out. If you have um, the Fragment and Reticula book in there, there's a lot of fun ideas for circles. You could um, do them also. Look for them. But we can just keep filling this and filling it and getting lots and lots of I'm going to give it a little
And this is very meditative because you have lots of little tears to seize to, I bet I said that wrong, little crevices to fill in. But there you have Cruffle for today's lesson. And it can just be... I, I challenge you to do the next three days in all the different styles of Cruffle that Sandy Hunter has on her website. Um, she has some great... great ideas. And let's do a little shading because we haven't done any shading and I'm going to use a um, <clears throat> just a graphite pencil and I'm going to come in here and just do a little shading Just at the, I'm going to use the bottom of the, the, the little cruffle and shade the bottom. I haven't got them all done there. And then I'll take my shading stump and blend it. something in that side. I don't like it blank. Oop. Wrong pen. And you can even just make up your own. But Sandy gives you tons of great ideas. So I had to finish out those ones I had drawn. And um, I like to, I'm going to come back to this one and um, just give it a little bit of, of shading also. Even though I've colored it, I'm going to come in here with a little graphite. Sometimes I um, go outside the edges and I don't want that graphite there. So I know, no erasers, but sometimes I have to just do that. And I think I'm going to add a little color over here also with um, and blend these just to keep the color kind of going. We'll see what happens when I add that little bit of color over here. Take my um, blending stump, I mean my little pot. You can see how easy it is to, to grade those up and get a fun little light color. Oh yes, I'm going to have to come back in here and add color to this, um, to thine own self be true. Because look how fun that is to have that little burst of color on those. 
And you notice I didn't have to re-dip my blending stump. A lot of times I'll have enough um, um, paint thinner, odorless paint thinner in there to blend them just fine. So, and sometimes you'll even have enough color on your blending stump to um, you can pick up the color over here and add it over here. It will, especially if you want a lighter color. But isn't that fun? So go to Sandy's website and look up Cruffles. And see, and I will put a link below so you can do that. And enjoy tangling in your Tangle a Day calendar or your um, relax, Tangle, Relax, and Ponder um, book. Lots of, we've done lots of different um, pages in here. Some of them I've finished, some of them I haven't, but I just go back and work on them. This is, it travels with me. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.